gonna we're gonna move on from the the K-pop uh, saga and back to Sneeko and the Soy Boys from friend of the show Noah Sampson. Back to the channel. Unfortunately for everyone here, we have to talk about uh, Sneeko again. Oh. I don't want to have to do this, but I've been advised by my Matrix agent that. It's going to be algorithmically profitable. So here we are. Viewers of my channel may remember Sneeko from a few months back when he and I were having some disagreements about facial hair and pets. Shut up, mustache! Are there any women in the comments who could see through the bullshit? Oh, okay, so they're saying all BS. Isabella's saying LMAO. Bro, if you make an Instagram for your cat, just like reevaluate your life. I want to eat your cat, bro. I want some Asian shit. Let me eat your cat. YouTube like your cat, now you're not uh, Ayo. Hey, I didn't mean I was going to eat his cat. I meant I want to like literally cook his cat and eat it. Since that time, he's been banned from YouTube, he now streams on Rumble, an alt tech site, and is currently traveling the world with his socially well-adjusted red pill friends, and somehow none of this has inhibited his ability to never shut the f*** up. Back in December, I caught one of Sneeko's Rumble live streams just to check up on the guy, you know, just to see how things were going on the new platform. The live stream was titled Free Andrew Tate, and it took Okay, I want to, I want to explain something here. You would say that Asan, you would judge people for having cat Instagrams? Absolutely not. That's crazy. That is an insane, insane take. No, I think it's perfectly fine, wonderful, and w I welcome it. Make Instagrams for your cats. That's awesome. Why the fuck would I be against that? I will, I will push that. I will push back on that place the day that Andrew Tate had been arrested and charged with human trafficking. I ended up downloading it to my computer because I saw some funny stuff. He starts off the stream by offering some legal testimony. Andrew knew this was going to happen. Tristan knew that this was going to happen. And as somebody who has stayed at I gotta the house be, I'll be in back. Romania, I've been there. They are not human traffickers. I know them personally. Andrew and Tristan Tate are not human traffickers. It's all a lie. Your Honor, I didn't see it happen. Therefore, it simply cannot exist. I rest my case. Everybody celebrating the fact that Andrew and Tristan got arrested looks like this. Why? They have lower testosterone. Oh, brother, get a load of these guys. They don't even like sex trafficking. How embarrassing. The chat during this live stream was also pretty interesting. Um, content warning, content warning. Hitler was right. Revolution, hail Hitler. Mein Kampf. I hate this Jew f it. Burn f it in an industrial sized oven. They want Jews to rule us all. Sneeko's new fan base, I guess. Um, they seem lovely. Woke, lefty, dem, lib, new age, occultist, degenerate, pedo, groomer, evil, globalist, hypocrites. Damn, man, take a breath. Jesus. There were some chats for Hassan specifically, which, um, that's cool, you know? It's always nice to get mentioned on the internet. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Lynch, Lasan, today. Lasanabi, Jew, f it. Murder, Lasan. W, murder. W, murder is crazy. That's the first time anyone's ever typed that outside of a live leak comment section. Wait, also, uh, the user that called for Hassan to be lynched was named Hitler's grandson, apparently. So, just when you thought Hitler couldn't get any worse, we find out that he's related to a Sneeko viewer. This also happened to be the stream where Sneeko pulled out a gun and pointed- Wait, what? The fuck? Wait, what is murder Hassan? Bro, Lazanabi Jew F word? Bro, these people are so crazy. What the fuck's going on, dog? Wait, what? Oh, God, I have such a bad headache. Oh, Sneeko's new fan base, I guess. Um, they seem lovely. Woke, lefty, dem, lib, new age, occultist, degenerate, pedo, groomer, evil, globalist, hypocrites. Damn, man, take a breath. Jesus. There were some chats for Hassan specifically, which, um, that's cool, you know? It's always nice to get mentioned on the internet. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Lynch, Lasan, today. Lasanabi, Jew, f*** it. Is it low test obby? <laughs> Why do people who watch Lico say that I have low T? Like, that's insane. I have to unironically take a fucking pill to, to lower the level of testosterone that I got. At least DHT so my fucking hairline doesn't fall off. And these motherfuckers are still like, dude, low T. Brother, I am 250, well, 249 pounds now of straight a5 American buck steak. Okay. That's it. 249. Uh hopefully on uh, on my on my way down. On my way down. Hopefully going to be at uh 245 soon. Anyway, murder Lasan. W murder. W murder is 
crazy. <laughs> That's the first w time anyone's ever typed that. W murder. Like <laughs> I love also, that. That's uh, funny. The user that called for Hassan to be lynched was named Hitler's grandson, apparently. So just when you thought Hitler couldn't get any worse, we find out that he's related to a Sneeko viewer. This also happened to be the stream where Sneeko pulled out a gun and pointed it into the camera and at an image of myself and a bunch of other content creators. It's kind of an insane clip because for a lot of it, his finger is on the trigger. It's also funny though, because that clip spawned one of the more viral internet moments that I've seen in a while, which is from Penguin Zero, AKA Charlie's recent video Penguin responding Zo. to Sneeko. This moment is fascinating because it basically single-handedly turned the entire internet against Sneeko. Even the people who once defended him started making hit pieces, which is fun, but also kind of sad that it took them that long to figure it out. But when Sneeko isn't waving a gun at his camera or dancing to Nazi edits on his stream, He's on Twitter posting, which brings us to the topic of today's video. Last week, he posted the following tweet. Pattern recognition. This collage is everyone who advocated for my cancellation. Fight back and follow my rumble. Attached to the tweet is a collage of nine content creators, which you may recognize from that stream we just looked at. From the top, we have Hassan Biker, Nick is not green, Jake Doolittle, Hunter Avalone, Noah, the handsome chill guy, Samson. Why is that in the script? Jay Aubrey, Ryan Beard, and Ethan from H3. He's posted this image once every few weeks for the last six months or so as a way to promote his rumble stream. The common denominator of this group is that we've all made content about Sneeko. YouTube videos, video essays, stream reactions or debates, We've all goofed on him for his wacky red pill antics, and these videos have all done pretty well for us. But the other common denominator of this group is that to Sneeko, we are all soy. This image has been dubbed the Soy Boy Collage, and the pattern in question is that we all look True, I'm soy soft, as fuck. Weak, beta, like women, you know, you, you get it. You're basically women. You all look like trans women. This is what they want you to become, these men. They will never get canceled. They will never get arrested for some bullshit. And you know, if you like, this is a wild thing to say. We're like such a pretty boy. You know what I mean? It's just such a, such a wild, wild thing to say. You know what I mean? You're a pretty boy, man. You're, what do you mean? You're like a you're like a power twink. What the fuck is this? I just don't get it. I, I I truly don't understand. I mean, my whole life I've been I've been a monstrosity. You know what I mean? A big boy. I've always wanted to be pretty. I've always wanted to be able to fit in the nice clothes. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't even. This is the largest fucking suit they got at the store, and I can't fit in. I'm about to bust out of this shit, and this. Dandy lad with his delicate ass, soft ass features, barely can grow fucking facial hair is like, you, Hassan, you are a soy boy. It blows my mind, but it makes me happy. I mean, thank you. You looking for some clips and smoke, asshole? <laughs> yeah. You gonna do smoke my penis, dude? What the fuck? I've always, like, I've always wanted to look. I'm a twinko. Yeah, exactly. Like I always wanted to look pretty and be and and be like a, you know, like a pretty boy, you know? And I guess the the grass is always greener on the other side, but I don't know, I just I find it strange. Bullshit. And you know, if you squint I kind of see where he's coming from with that. Like it's a bunch of guys with glasses and um, okay, well, most of them have glasses. They have brown hair. They have brown hair. Uh, okay, most of them have that. They're smooth on the face. They have no facial... Okay, well, pretty much all of them have are smooth little guys with no f beards. And they're, they kind of look, you know, they're white, right? Most, okay, pretty much all of them are white, minus the people that aren't. And it's these traits that all make you soy, you know? It's a very coherent categorization. In this tweet, when Sneeko uses the word cancellation, we have to understand that this is a crucial element. By the way, it's funny because, like, nobody, know who, nobody knew who the fuck Sneeko was before I got canceled, like, 700 times. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean I'm I'm tr a trans woman and therefore I'm not allowed to be canceled? Like, what the fuck? Like, what what, what what kind of take is that? You know what I mean? What? On that list of people, I get like it's like me and Ethan. We get canceled the most, but I I think I'm I'm still I might be winning. I don't know. Ethan does say a lot more unhinged shit every now and then. 
supplement of his like, brand. What do you mean? He streams on Rumble, the free speech platform. He talks about the things that they don't want you to hear. He was banned from YouTube because according to him, government officials and big tech CEOs are afraid of his message of self-improvement. A lot of these booster shot indoctrinated brainwashed YouTubers are trying to take credit for the fact that I'm banned when in reality it's bigger than you. The government is watching me. The Senator of Michigan played my clip of a stream. The committee, the chair of Homeland Security said that I'm a domestic threat. Meanwhile, the self-improvement in question is just him doing 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sneeko, you gotta stop brother. You gotta stop. You're a, you're a domestic threat to the American birth rates, dude. <laughs> None of these dudes are getting pussy. They started watching one Sneeko video and it's over. You know what I mean? It's like Shinzo Abe tried to prevent this from happening in Japan. Look where that got him. Sneeko is literally doing things that that is making Shinzo Abe turn in his grave, okay? Just birth control. Automatic birth control. Automatic abstinence only sex ed. If you watch... Uh, Nico videos. All of the saddest half rep push ups you've ever seen. Yeah. Three bros on a f webcam after discriminating each other and jerking each other off for 30 minutes, doing push ups and grunting in front of each other is gay. Whoa. No shot. Why do you appeal to females? That is cringe. You can't take criticism. Take criticism. Brenton Tarant is my hero. What? I don't even know what he's. What is that? Some oh, it's the not oh, it's the mosque shooter. Nice, dude. Dude, you're so, bro, you're so edgy and base, dog. Wow, that was sick, man. Oh, the 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 Chrysler shooter. That that was so sick, dude. You really, you really got us, man. You are. Ooh, we are so scared. I'm sure your family is still gonna keep hating you though, and uh, act like you're not around when they're doing family reunions. But it's okay. One day you might have a happier life, possibly. You just got to get off those fucking forums. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love I love Twitch streaming because I get to hear from literal 14-year-olds where their parents have to lie to the rest of the family like they had cancer. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, he's sick. That's why he's in his room right now. He's not feeling well. <laughs> like, I can... I can sense your parents' disappointment from here, where I'm standing, miles away. That's sad, dude. That's extra sad. Let's continue with the video. Wait, what do you think about what do you think about porn? Uh, I, porn is awesome. Just don't abuse don't it. Don't use it too much. So, did all of these creators advocate for Sneeko's cancellation? Well, I'm sure you already guessed it, but no. No. Watch any of this content and you'll find criticism, sure, dunks, absolutely, but canceling? The closest thing we get to the actual definition of canceling insofar as one even exists is this video from Nick is Not Green, where Nick calls on viewers to report Sneeko's channel. I think this is probably what Sneeko is referring to when he uses this cancellation narrative. But given the context of this video, I don't think that calling it canceling really paints an accurate picture of what happened. Sneeko sexually harassed a prominent female content creator named Chad Chad. On his stream, he simulated himself having violent sex with her. I'm going to play it now, um, so if you'd rather not see this, just go ahead and skip to the timestamp that's on the screen. And you know, sister was so predictable, you could tell by the way she's talking that she hasn't been properly... That's true. YouTube's terms of service on harassment and bullying, and Nick's video drew attention to this. It's very likely that this is what caused Sneeko to receive a strike on his channel, since he claims a strike came shortly after Nick's video was posted, and that the strike was specifically labeled under harassment and bullying. Because this was his third channel strike, with the first two being for vaccine misinformation and election fraud misinformation, according to him at least. What were the strikes for? COVID misinformation. Okay. election misinformation and cyberbullying. His channel was immediately terminated. Now, even if you consider what happened here to be a cancellation, which, you know, I would hope you'd think more thoroughly about before anything like this ever happened to one. No jumper had him on. Yeah, that's where he talked about how he's like terrified of pussies, right? Does anyone have that clip where he's like, man, I'm so scared of vaginas. Like, ew, gross. <laughs> Which is, of course, what you would say if you're an alpha dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, here it is. That that interview was was. I saw this clip you going around. It. I love this clip. It's pretty good. Well, maybe not. That's not but true. You, could, you could get it wet. Yeah, you could that's not true. on it a little bit. A pussy is just like an open wound. It's a gaping hole in a woman's body. Yeah, and that's why I hate when women are like, 
I give head all the time and these dudes don't want to eat pussy or whatever. It's like, listen, it's not the same. No. If I stuck this lighter in my mouth right now, which I won't, uh, that would be like sucking a dick. Licking what? a vagina is like a pit of mucus and flesh, fleshy tissue and babies come out of there. Periods and but to like I know this dude fucks. Okay, he literally shoots porn. What the fuck are you doing, bro? What what kind of take is that? Like you have eaten and and, and fucked enough pussy to know better than, than speaking about pussy like this. To pee insinuate and that the lighter is just squirt. like a dick is a, that's a big. I'm just saying, it's like it's not it's not the same. Well, maybe not, not but you could, you could get it wet. Yeah, you could that's slobber not true. on it a little bit. A pussy's a Fellas, is it gay to enjoy sex with women? Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. One of your friends. But even if you think it was, can you at least not understand where Nick might have been coming from in making this video? Nick said what most of us, you know, socially well-adjusted people thought when they first saw that video, which is, what the f***, man, what is this guy doing on our platform? And YouTube happened to agree. Not because Nick called up Susan and asked, or because of some woke agenda. Stop sucking Susan's dick. Stop dick riding YouTube and trying to be the police over here but because sneeko fucked around and sneeko found out like it or not platforms have rules and when you keep pushing the limits of those rules it's only a matter of time before they reach a breaking point like others in this right-wing media grift bubble sneeko wants to cry that he's been canceled when what he's really talking about is consequences the logical endpoint of this worldview is of course that he wants to be able to act with total impunity thankfully that's not the world we live in <laughs> the woke moralists don't want us to watch our girlfriends get piped yeah dude they don't want dude they don't they don't want bukkake happening to your girlfriends in front of you you know what i mean they don't want it they don't want you to experience the pure joy the pure elation that you feel from being ritualistically humiliated by everyone on the internet and once you fire off a nut right after 12 million people watched you uh absolutely get eviscerated okay there's, there's no coming back from that. Not on YouTube, at least. So Rumble is his home for the foreseeable future with his new pals who definitely aren't Nazis that want to revive Hitler. Now, the last thing I want to talk about today is one of the replies I saw to this tweet. Quite a few people responded to the Soy Boy collage by posting pictures of people like Hassan and Charlie showing off their muscular physiques. Some people even posted photos of me, like this one of me lifting weights or this one of me at 16 years old back when I looked like some sort of Channing Tatum tricep mutation. Now, I do understand this response, and for what it's worth, I can see how it's effective. However, I don't think it's a good response, and I wanna explain what I mean by that. I understand this response because it speaks Sneeko's language. It meets him where he's at and points to a contradiction in his worldview. He's calling us soy because he thinks we're weak, but what if the guys that he thinks are weak are actually strong, very strong, ripped even? What then? That makes sense rhetorically, right? It's great for Twitter, and for that reason, I'm not mad at the people who tweeted it. The point I want to make here, though, is that we don't have to do this. We don't have to post Chad Charlie to help him beat the soy boy allegations, because being a soy boy isn't a real thing. Soy boy, in this sense, is True. just a signifier for men I don't like. Sneeko and his ilk place that label onto the men. Yeah, 100%. I mean, yeah, literally. Uh, the, the fresh and fit, the bald one, the bald fed one... Constantly calls me F word and Abby. You know what I mean? Like always I've seen the fucking posts on, on Ethan's subreddit on H3, H3. Like always he's like, I'm at the gym right now. It's 2 AM, 2 AM. And uh, you know, on wh what's, what's F word and Abby doing? And it's like, bro, you're at the gym at 2 AM fantasizing about a man who was much larger than you. Like, well also like calling me the F word. Like what's going on? It's not even rent free at that point. I should be charging for you to be fantasizing about me as a grown ass man like this, dude. Did the top of your dome fucking run away because you were thinking about me that hard? That's weird. It's like you're a stan at that point. Okay, but at least they show love and and uh, say it uh, in a positive way men who disagree with them and their patriarchal politics. We get put into this soy boy box and then they sell their audiences on the idea that the worst possible thing you can be as a man is like any of them. Pointing out the numerous contradictions and hypocrisies inherent to this worldview might be fun, but it's a fool's errand if we aren't also challenging the framework itself. The fact that some of these guys are ripped doesn't make
That's soy, bro. Shut up. You're soy. Classic. Typical soy boy, dude. Makes Nico's politics any more dog shit than they already are. In the same way that it wouldn't make them any better if we all looked exactly like the stereotype of the soy effeminate man. In red pill land, there are strong men. And That's the funniest part is that like, if we're talking about like the traditional, oh, that guy's gay type shit, you know what I mean? I will forever think about that tweet where someone was like, Someone was talking about how, like, dude, a lot of these people that are on Twitter that live in, like, Brooklyn, that LARP is, like, uh, you know, trad cats or, like, a understand what, like, people, what gay people look like have never been to the Midwest because, like, if you were in North Dakota, they would just call you gay for wearing a cardigan. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, like, the funniest part about it is that, like, Andrew Tate literally, he's just so twink-coded, just like Sneeko. Like, these motherfuckers are straight yassified, bro. Okay? Just, it, it blows my mind. Like, skin-tight shit. Like, they're so zesty with it. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're so zesty. So, what's up with that? Like, what? what like, do these people not understand? I, I, I genuinely don't understand the, the audience that's like, man, these guys are so soy because they're advocating... <laughs> that tweet about Tate manages to look gay in every scenario. Yeah, he had like a he had like a photo shoot that he planned with a bunch of Instagram models or with a bunch of OnlyFans models or whatever, right? Which we now know were probably sex trafficking victims, but that's besides the point, I guess. Um, and like he, it looked like he was doing a a, a sleepover with the girls. I've never seen a photo like that where it's like you so clearly are trying to fucking, like, present yourself as this, like, hyper-masculine, very straight, super macho alpha guy, and yet you just look like, when you take a photo like that, it just already just literally just looks like you are having a sleepover. This this is the tweet, yeah. Why is Andrew Tate giving off gay porn vibes? I mean, I had a really good fucking uh, quote tweet on that that popped off, uh, but... I'm I'm talking about like the sleepover tweet that was like really good. Yeah, I guess, but y'all preach about how you how to better yourself. Like you guys are giving these dudes a ladder instead of how you're just fucked up by the system. My man's kind of got a point about it. Doesn't help the viewers off Lico. Wait, what? I do give people advice all the time. I'm probably fucking unbearable with how much I talk about fitness and how much I talk about fitness top of the hour ad break at the top of every hour. And how you can avoid those ads by subscribing for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Or by getting gifted a sub if you're lucky. No, but I, I mean, I talk about my own personal fitness journey all the time. I talk about uh, self-improvement all the time. It's something that is truly important to me. Uh, and, and I think that that is like very important for others to follow as well. There are plenty of people who have been inspired in this community as well. Uh, that have, uh, you know, lost a lot of weight, started training, started, um, you know, started improving themselves uh, and, and, you know, uh, seeing the results of said improvement. So I don't know. I don't know where that, I don't know where that idea comes from. The idea is, is yeah, this is it. This is it. Dude, 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 dude. Exactly. How does this motherfucker manage to look gay in every photo of regardless of what's happening, Lamau? They look like they're having, looking like my gay uncle. They look like they're having a Taylor Swift music video marathon. This reminds me of the time my girlfriend invited me to girls night and we watched a critically acclaimed romance fantasy movie about time 2013 starring Rachel McAdams and Dom Hall Gleason and we all ugly cried. Like in his eyes, he thinks this is badass, right? Like he looks in his eyes. He, he thinks like, oh dude, everyone's going to see this. And like, honestly, I'm going to look so straight. Meanwhile, I look at this and immediately I'm like, dude, you're one of the girls, which is sick. Like, make no mistake. I'm not using this as like a, a joke. I'm not saying that like, lol, being gay, you know what I mean? I'm not doing any of that shit. But I think that like a lot of these guys would be way, way more open-minded and, and way nicer. Maybe not fucking Tate. Tate is like a little bit more irredeemable than everyone else, but they would probably not be the fucking annoying, uh, pestering nuisance that like everybody dunks on if they were just like a little bit more open-minded about 
their own sexualities, possibly their own sexual journey, and maybe uh, you know uh, the the experiences of others, right? And there are weak men. Strong men will reclaim their former glory by rising to the top of society, while weak men, soy men, must be ignored and cast aside. Weakness itself must be stamped out. Don't open up to people, don't show your emotions, because women will leave you if you do. If I lined up 100 women, right? And I told a guy, all right, man, each of these are your girlfriend. Go ahead and cry and be vulnerable with them, etc." I would argue that somewhere between 85 to 90 of them are not going to like it. Most women hate soft men. Don't skip the gym for a day. Because if you do, a stronger, more dedicated man will come along and take your place and f*** your wife. He will literally f*** your wife. That's your wife, bro. I want you to see life as a man, as a competitive race. And there's a bunch of men running this race. If you take a break from that race for two hours to watch that movie, the guy who was behind you races ahead and now that woman who was supposed to be yours, who was supposed to be your wife, who was supposed to have your children is attracted to him and he f**ks her and he impregnates her. <laughs> instead of arguing against these ridiculous premises, it's better to just look at that world. The one that Sneeko and his friends are trying to sell us and say, that sounds like an awful place to be. I don't like it and I don't wanna be there and why would any of you? Anyways, that's all I had to say about all of that. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks again to all my supporters over on Patreon. Also, shout out to Felicia Grable. What's up, Felicia? Good job having cool friends that love you very much that told me to shout you out. They, good job. Thinking the soulmates exist and you get cooked into it kind of gave you asked me. I just I, I don't dude, I there's so much. There's so much I don't understand. Peter Park, good. Says nice fit. Thank you for the 25 months, man. Holy shit. Um This is Noah Samson's channel. Noah Samson. Uh the video is titled Sneeko and the Soy Boys. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on in these dudes' minds, uh, actually. Like, I, I just genuinely don't understand. Also, I forgot to run the top of the hour ad break after I said I was going to run it and did the segue. But mix the V-Loan with the Rick. <laughs> Thank you for the five gifted subs. <laughs> Allowing five people to no longer see the actual top of the hour ad break, which is now. My man's name is Mix the V-Loan with the Ricks. Being a leftist hasn't really helped my hasn't helped my mental health really, but it got me away from m mindsets like this and now just doomer. I mean, your soy compared to this. I mean, this is a this is what a giga chat looks like. It's true. This is XQC's real photo, by the way, leaked. Actually, what he looks like. All clouds are bunnies. That's a good one. That's a good name. <laughs> 